I was born in 1987, so when I was a kid, I played Pokemon Generation 1 and loved it. Today I still like the Pokemon franchise, but there is not only the creatures that fascinates me, but also the world they live in. Another game that I played a lot when younger was Sin City, and later Sin City 5 came, and it was really nice to have regions where I could build different cities that are interconnected. However, Sin City 5 is not a very good game to play for a long time, because, you know, cities are too small and the game is a bit repetitive. That's when Cities Skylines emerged like a dream. It allows us to build giant cities using a lot of tools and mods created by an astonished active community. The game does not allow us to build multiple cities within the same map, but you can kind of simulate that by using districts and some creativity. So I decided to create all the regions of the Pokemon franchise into cities and skylines, with each city of Pokemon being a different district on the game with unique buildings and styles. But I want it to be as realistic as possible, so I'm not going to use the original game map, as they are very squarish. Instead, I'm going to use the real world locations. The first map will be, of course, Generation 1, Kanto, a region inspired by an area of real world Japan, where Tokyo is located. So, I went to this site here and want to export the height map, but it has a size limit. Luckily, I'm a web developer and I know some tricks. Using the browser's Elements Inspector, I changed the max property of this field and, there we go, I now can have a greater range. I'll be using some mods, including the H1 Tiles mod, so I can use all the area to build the cities. However, I'll avoid the edges because the fog is annoying there. So a map with 250 kilometers should be enough. Now I just have to download the PNG and import into the map editor. After importing to the game, using this button here, this is the map I got. Clearly the map needs some adjustments, as the mountains are too high. Perfect. Another thing I decided to do is to include all known cities and try to match the real locations. For that, I used as reference the very useful week from Bulbapedia. I went to the Kanto page and checked the anime exclusive locations. And guess what? There are a lot of them. To make my life easier, I then created a saved place list on Google Maps, pinning all cities and important landmarks to use as reference. Important to say that it's not 100% accurate, as many informations you have about some location is that they are located between a place and another. So I had to often check the episode sequence to understand the protagonist's path and get an approximated location. Also, I need to do some adjustments to avoid cities being too close to another. Another job I had to do was to create some fictional island, as they did not exist in real Japan and it seems to have a lot of them in the anime. But they were very close to each other and I didn't want to remake them. So how to fix it? Let's use the power of image editing. I export the update height map, open up Photoshop, and literally I have moved the islands to a better distance. Save the height map, import it again, wait for the water to settle down, and I did the adjustments were necessary at sand and trees. And this is the final map with some important key areas, like the Toho Falls separating Kanto and Jotto, and where the main outside connection road goes. I also have Mount Fuji, which appears only on Generation 2 and is called Mount Silver. This is Mount Moon between Peter and Cerulean cities, the volcano on Cinnabar Island, and here are some other anime exclusive mountains like Mount Hadway near Pallet Town and Evolution Mountain near Virginia. Almost finished, let's add some trees, do some mineral adjustments, and we are done. The map is not perfect, but this is not a problem since I can terraform it in the game using the extra landscape tools mod. Let's save the map and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching and please let me know if you like it in the comments. If you want to follow me on this journey, please consider to subscribe to my channel. But I have to warn you, we're not gonna get any Pokemon here. Bye!